Hello, my name is Mario Mees and I work here at Anibex. At Anibex, we are modernization specialists and we migrate mainframe applications to the cloud. Today, I would like to talk to you about inherent modernization. Before we start talking about inherent modernization, I would like, however, to take one step back and explain you how we work in general. When we migrate applications to the cloud, we basically take all artifacts and we convert them into native technologies. That means that languages such as PL1, Assembler, COBOL get converted into modern languages such as Java or C Sharp. In order to make this feasible and manageable, there are two very important principles. First of all, the entire process is automated. This means that the conversions are automated and the testing is automated. Secondly, it has to be possible to convert everything in an ISO-functional or like-for-like -like way. That means the application will behave exactly the same when it arrives in the cloud than it behaved before on the mainframe. So, what is inherent modernization? Inherent modernization is modernizing everything that we can modernize when, first of all, it can be automated and secondly, it produces exactly the same results. Under these two conditions, we will modernize. Allow me to share a few examples. It is pretty obvious that when we convert a 60-year-old language such as COBOL to a modern language such as Java or C Sharp, that a lot of modernization happens. Suddenly, these applications, while still functionally equivalent, are written in an object-oriented language and admitted that the result will never be as object-oriented as when written from scratch, it is a fantastic head start into moving into these new object-oriented languages, for example, by gradually refactoring the results. Another example from the data side. Adabas, a pre-relational database, does not know the concept of a date or time field. When converting Adabas into a relational database, it is relatively easy to convert those date and time fields into real date and time fields. Assuming, of course, that the contents are valid dates and times. Or Visum or Adabas databases with repeating groups. When converting those to relational databases, we can easily introduce separate tables for them. At any time, we can normalize or denormalize as much as you want. That is inherent modernization. I wanted to end with uh, one last example, this time from the user interface side. If you still have green screens or 30 to 70 screens, as they are also called, they can easily be converted into a terminal emulator, often needed when you still have a lot of screen scraping. But we can also convert these into an HTML to run into a browser. One more example of inherent modernization. Please find out more at anabex.com.